Today I want to answer a question that I had before I started at WGU. I wanted to know what classes should I transfer in and what sh I shouldn't transfer in with respect to education. I felt like if I wait to take a class at WGU, perhaps I would get a better education if I wait and take it there as opposed to taking it at one of the four S's. That's Sailor, Sophia, Straighterline, Study.com. Those are the four S's. I thought that maybe instead of transferring it in, maybe I should just wait because maybe WGU is better. They have a better education or maybe not. Maybe they have a better education at one of the four S's. I didn't know the answer to that question. I still don't know the answer to that question, but I do have an answer for what you should transfer in and what you shouldn't transfer in. So I wanted to give you that answer based on what I know now and maybe help you make a decision on what you should transfer in or not. So let me just get to showing you what I wanted to show you. All right, so here's WGU. So I finally have access to it. Um, I don't have full access yet. I haven't started officially as of right now. Um, I don't start until February 1st here. Right now, it's a few days before that as I'm recording this, but I do have access to my degree plan and I could see here, and as you could see as well, I have 10 classes here left. I've already completed the orientation um, and I have 10 total classes here I will be doing once I officially start. Almost every single one of these classes here, I actually want to learn completely. I want to study every piece of material they have here, whether I feel like I know the subject or not. As a matter of fact, I've already been working on software one here. Um, I got access to the, some of the material early. So I've been working through that class and it's mostly all review, but I have learned a few new things. So it hasn't been a waste of time. I probably could have gotten away without doing this class at all and just doing the performance assessment. But I want to actually get the most out of my education here at WGU. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do every single one of these classes here. I'm going to read all the material, whether I think I need to or not, and just do it. Um, with the exception of maybe the natural science lab, I don't think that's entirely entirely relevant for me. But everything else, I want to I want to get the most out of it. But let me show you, these are the classes I transferred in. There's a lot of them here. Many of these classes, I would have liked to have gotten the WGU education. Many of these. Um, for example, scripting and programming applications. I took this class, well, I didn't even take the class, I just passed a test at Sailor and I was done with that class immediately. But I would like to know about C++ and perhaps WGU teaches it very well. Perhaps they teach advanced data management very well. I would love to know that subject. Um, networking and security foundations. I would love to know about that. There's a lot of stuff here that I would have loved to have taken at WGU. The reason I transferred everything in for me, the important thing for me is having the maximum probability probability of success of not having to pay for an extra term. I wanted to finish my, my degree in one term, spend the minimal amount of money as possible. And also I wanted to have the minimal amount of stress as possible. Many of these classes, for example, computer architecture. This is notorious for being a very difficult class. It has a very difficult objective assessment, you know, final exam, multiple choice, proctored, final exam. It is is known to be very difficult. I wanted to not have to worry about that. I wanted to not have to worry about I just can't pass this test and I keep having to take it over and over and over again, paying $60 every time I take I want to retake the test. I didn't want to have to worry about that. And I figured that might happen in multiple classes. It is possible. So I wanted to eliminate that possible possibility of stress out of my life. So I just decided, you know what? Perhaps I won't get the exact WGU education that I hoped for. But to me, it felt like it was more important um, to minimize that stress to 
eliminate the possibility of having to pay for any extra terms. And there's always free material out there on the internet that I could learn these subjects. It might not be as easy. The material might not be as good. But there's you could learn everything for free on the internet somewhere. So I, I figured, you know what, I will forego that WGU education for every class that I could transfer in. That was my thinking. But I do regret transferring in some of these classes. You know, like I would like to learn about discrete math. I mean, I learned it at study.com and study.com was, I actually learned it pretty well. A lot of these classes I took at study.com, for example, or Sophia, I felt like I got a pretty decent education, but perhaps the WGU education is better. And I missed out on that, unfortunately. Or maybe not. Because here's the thing. Should you transfer in a class or should you not transfer in a class to WGU if you want the WGU education? My answer is transferring every single one of these classes here because not only will you get your study.com, your Sophia education, you will also, if you desire, get the WGU education as well. And here's what I mean. You can go into any one of these classes here, computer architecture, for example, and check this out. Course material, go to course material, click on that. Guess what? I had no idea about this. It's all here. The entire course is right here. I transferred this class in. But if I want to learn all about computer architecture here at WGU, I can do it. It's all here. I can go through all the material here if I want, or I can pick and choose what I want to do. I think that's fantastic. I had no idea about this. So that question about whether you should save a class for WGU versus taking it at one of the four S's, transfer it in and you could still do it at WGU if you want, if you have the extra time. You can do everything here. You can do the pre-assessment to test yourself. The only downside to this is, darn, I don't have to do the proctored final exam at the end. Darn. That's the only downside here. If you want, for some reason, you want to do that proctored objective assessment. Okay, that's a downside. But look, let me take you to another class here. You have uh, scripting and programming applications. I'm actually interested in this class. Again, it's all here. Go to course material. This is all C++. I want to know about C++, right? I did a class that involved C++ at Sailor. I passed that class, but maybe I want the WGU education too. I could do the entire thing. It's all here. Every bit of it. You know, there's one thing I'm confused about, pointers in C++. I could learn all about pointers here. And I could do the labs. Everything I want, I could do it here. The only thing is, I'm just not required to. All these classes right here are just optional. Now, they are complete, but they are also optional. I could do them if I want. So if you want a certain education, if you want your scripting and programming applications, if you want your data management class, advanced data management, you could do it. Scripting and programming applications class here. You can even go and do the performance assessment if you want, just to test yourself, to test your own skills. And I'm not going to show you what it says here, but this is the entire performance assessment right here. All of it. It even has the rubric, everything. Everything you need, you can do it right here to test yourself. And to be honest, this actually looks pretty fun to build. So I think if I have time before my term is up, I will come back here and do this class. I will at least do this performance assessment because it looks fun to me. But 
it's the same for every class here. You could do all of the material if you want. You could learn everything. You can get your WGU education. And not only can you get your WGU education, you got double the education. You got your Sophia education. You got your straighter line um, study.com education. But you also have your WGU education if you desire. So when I learned this, I thought it was fantastic. I've never actually seen anybody say out loud that you can do classes that you've transferred in. I had no idea. This question comes up all the time about what classes should I save for WGU? There's no reason to save any of them for WGU because if you transfer it in, you can still do the class. It's just optional now. You just don't have to do any of the assignments, any of the proctored exams. You don't have to do any of it, but you can still learn everything. So there's no reason not to transfer in anything with the exception of maybe the situation where you have project management, for example. So this class, is actually, I'll take you to it here real quick. This class is a certification. So basically, in order to pass this class, what you do is you take the CompTIA Project Plus exam and you get the certification and then you pass this class. That is the requirement of this class. So the only downside I could see to transferring this class in is if for some reason you want the Project Plus, and WGU actually gives you a voucher to get the certification. So if you decide to take this certification on your own, you have to pay. So for me personally, the Project Plus, I, I'm, I have no experience in tech whatsoever yet. So I don't see myself being a project manager anytime soon. Um, so Project Plus, maybe not that important in this point in my career, but I could always get it later if I want. And another thing is that I've heard is that um, some of these, um, a lot of these certifications now are going to start a lot of, they used to be lifetime certifications, but I've heard that they're going to start expiring after a certain amount of years, like three or four years, they're going to expire. That's what I've heard. That's, that's the word I've been hearing. So maybe in four years from now, if I were to take this now and in four years, I want to be a project manager my certifications expired. I would have to go get it anyway. So maybe it wouldn't mean anything to go do it here. I don't know how what it's what the requirements are to get it renewed. I don't know if, the, if you have to take the test again. I don't know. But that is a, something you have to think about. If you want a certification, maybe don't transfer that particular class in if that's important to you. But everything else, I see zero downside. To just transferring it in. I really don't see any downside to it. Um, if any of you out there can think of a downside that I can't, that I'm not mentioning here, I would love to hear it. But I mean, really, if you want to do what I did and transferring everything in, transfer everything in that you could possibly do. There's only one class I didn't transfer in that I could have. Um, I'll talk, I talk about that in part four of my series about how I completed 70% of my degree before I started. Um, you could check that out if you're interested, but that was the natural science lab. Um, that's the only one I missed out on transferring it in to WGU. Everything else I transferred in every possible from every possible class from the four S's I transferred in into WGU and I, and I did have regrets because I didn't know that I could do some of these classes here anyway. And you better believe if I have time, I will be doing many of these. I will be doing the scripting and programming applications. I, I will be doing the advanced data management. And this advanced data management, I took a look at it, it's pretty cool. It has like a, a lab set up where you can log into a virtual machine and work on database stuff in a virtual environment. I, th I think that's pretty cool. Like, I'm excited to do that. Um, and there's a few others here. Networking and security, uh, networking and security foundations. Maybe I want to go through that. I feel like I'm a little lackluster on that. Um, but there's there's a bunch of these that I I was 
kind of disappointed about transferring it in, but I felt like the safety net factor, basically the the idea that I'm going to get trapped in, in doing a test over and over again because I just can't pass it, um, not having to worry about that, and plus maximizing the probability that I'm going to be able to finish this in one term, save myself thousands of dollars. If you're somebody out there, you know, you want the education and you have a job, you have a, a, a family, it's it's hard for you to find time to study. For you, definitely do this. Absolutely. Even if you want the education, because you can get the WGU education anyway. You just don't have to worry about passing all of these classes some of these really hard classes, it might take you two months to go through computer architecture and you're going through that class, memorizing certain vocabulary and definitions, and it's taking you two months and you're memorizing stuff, but as you're completing the course, you're forgetting things as well because it's taking you two months to do. You won't have to worry about that if you transfer the class in. So you can save yourself multiple terms by transferring everything in, but you can also get the education. So there's no reason not to transfer in everything. So that's that's really my point here. Do everything you can. Like I said, I will be coming back to work on multiple classes here. Um, I only have 10 classes here. I'm fortunate enough that I have all the time in the world to work on these every single day, all day. I don't have a job right now. I left my job to focus on this 100%. I had the means to do it. So I did it. And so I have time to focus 100% on all of these. So I can get through them in pretty rapid succession. I don't think it's going to take me six months to do these 10. It might. But I don't think it will. So I will have time to work on classes I already transferred in. And I will get the optimal education that I want from WGU. I want to maximize the value I receive from WGU and I can. And I just thought that was great. So I wanted to share it because, you know, this is not very amp amplified very much. People ask this question all the time about what they should transfer in. And there's no reason not to transfer in any, everything. If it's if you're coming at this from an, a, the standpoint of what I want to receive the best education, you could potentially receive double the education, but none of the stress. So I think definitely do it everything you can, transfer it all in. And then if you want to learn about something in great detail at WGU, you can still do it. So I thought it was a great surprise when I saw this. Um, so I want to share it with any of you out there who were, who didn't know about it. Most people probably don't know about it because um, I never heard it, seen it, said anywhere. I'm sure somebody has said it somewhere. But, you know, when I was going, when I was deciding on going to WGU and researching, transferring in classes, I never actually saw that said to anybody. So I figured I'd like to spread the word out there that you can even do this. So. Fantastic. Great, great surprise. Um, and I'm excited to work on these classes that I've already transferred in. Uh, once I complete um, these classes here that I have left, I will be doing some of these classes I already transferred in. And uh, I can't wait for it. So, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say with this video. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video if you if any of it is helpful, please like the video. I appreciate that. Um, and if you're interested in any of my social media accounts, Cameron Engineer is my name. Check me out on any of those. It's in the description. Uh, but until next time, thank you for watching. Take care.